Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome back to Gathering the Magic. And in a first for this channel today, we're going to be looking at one of my deck techs. And this is uh, one of the ones I've done in more recent months. We have a Radha Heart of Keld. Now, before we get going, please do remember to like this video and why not subscribe for future magic content. And we'll just quickly say, um, if you haven't already, do check over on our Instagram where we are currently running a giveaway for a partner pairing deck of Malcolm and Breaches. So yeah, do check that out. But yeah, let's get right into this deck tech. So we have three strategies for Rata. The first one is just to get out all the lands. Get out the lands, your ramp, you get out all those creatures that can get you more lands out. And then second, we're gonna attach all the stuff to Rada, make her really powerful, hopefully use this ability at the bottom. And then thirdly, if all else fails, we've got so many creatures, we're gonna go super wide and we're gonna overwhelm our opponents. Okay, so firstly here, uh, I'll flick through it very quickly, of course, we have the land. We've got loads of forest. We've got about a dozen forest. We've got a load of mountains and then we've got a load of other stuff. There are 36, yeah, so there's 12, 12 forests. There are 36 lands in this deck. Obviously other ways to get lands out as well. So there's your mountains. Castle Embereth, just uh, another mountain option. Obviously you pump up those creatures as well. And then we're going on to the two coloured lands, gain a life. The bounce land, Gruel turf, rugged highlands, gain your life. And then cinder glade, also good if you're just searching for a forest, as obviously this falls into that category. Then we've got a few uh, sacrificable lands, which are obviously good, because if you've got those things on a landfall, it will trigger twice. So Fable Passage, Evolving Wilds, Naya Panorama, Myriad Landscape for some options there. Temple of the False God, a bit of a commander staple, give yourself two mana per turn. And here we go, this is very important in this deck. Rogue's Passage, perfect. If you've got all that land out, you've got Radha, you make her unblockable, and then you just swing in for lethal. Arch of Orazka. We've got lots of Ascend in this deck just to give us the City's Blessing, give us some extra options. Obviously this one is that card draw option. Kessig Wolf Run, uh, yeah, another option just to give a creature a trample and pump it up. Skarg, again, another land to pump up the, to pump up a creature. Ash Barrens, uh, Exotic Orchard and Command's Tower. Just some staple commander lands there. So we've done the lands and now we're going to specifically look at those creatures that allow you to search or play even more lands. So first, of course, we've got Azusa. Then we've got Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Play additional land and land your controller every basic land type in addition to their other types. That's really good for fixing the colors as well during the game. Mina and Den, search for an additional land. And uh, obviously you can return a land and give a creature trample. Perfect for Rudder. Exploration, play an additional land on each of your turns. I did pack that in the double Masters booster box a few months ago, and it's been a staple in this deck ever since. And Wayward Sawtooth, again, looking at that Ascend mechanic, you can play an additional land on each of your turns really cheap to play out and then obviously if you do have those lands nice and early you know 10 permanents shouldn't be that hard to do it becomes a 5-5 that can attack okay and whilst we're still on the subject of lands we've got other cards we want to make sure that we can play these lands from anywhere so crucible of worlds is absolutely essential in this deck you can play those lands that like fable passage go into the graveyard then you know use this play them over and over again explore here just to again play another additional land and get you some card draw wilderness reclamation perfect in this sort of deck you want to you know be able to untap all those lands again and then just scare your opponents at the thought of popping off on their turns as well uh, regrowth return target card from your graveyard to your hand again can be a land but also can be any card 
and then finally for the little land section splendid reclamation have no fear about putting all your lands in the graveyard because here you can return them all onto the battlefield tapped okay next up we're going to be looking with all those lands how we can ramp it all the normal ramps here and the you know the signets the artifacts so we'll go through these quickly cultivate kadama's reach and rampant grove get some more lands out then of course we've got the nice little artifact mana rocks thran dynamo soul ring of course you all knew that was coming what what commander deck doesn't have a soul ring in arcane signet get another mana felwar stone again gruel locket for the ramp and also uh, for, for the card draw if you do need it and then thaumatic compass uh, compass <laughs> uh, search library for a basic land if you have seven or more land transform it so i'll just show you just in case you're not aware which then becomes spires of Orazka, which you can tap add to your mana pool or untap an attacking creature and tap target attacking creature and opponent controls and remove it from combat that can be absolutely huge in commander that can definitely save your butt okay now we're going on to that attach to radar tactic here is just all the stuff you're gonna you're gonna whack on radar you're gonna really beef her up you're gonna make her unstoppable especially as it's so easy to get Radar out early on in the game. So you've got Swiftfoot Boots, Lightning Greaves, the Staples, Sword of Vengeance, which for three to play and then three to equip is just so good. Gets plus two, plus zero, and has First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. And he's super, super strong. Locks on Warhammer, again, three for three, and it gets plus three and has Trample and Lifelink. Okay, now one of my favorites here for four, power matrix you can just tap it tag creature has plus one plus one against flying first strike and trample until end of turn which if you get that attached to radar you're just gonna you're gonna be doing some damage okay and another one from double masters it is hammer of nazahan uh, again a really really good artifact potentially one of the best in the deck uh, when it etbs you can just attach it straight up to your creature and it gets plus two plus zero and has indestructible and uh yeah it's just so good again because once it's down any other equipment you're going to be playing you can then just whack on to to radar for free uh, really add into that value and next we've got four umbra uh obviously boosts it plus three plus three but again just gives radar that totem armor protection uh if it does get attacked or attempted to be destroyed I'm not sure why I'm doing that. It's almost like I'm trying to make it look like a foil. Um, Ember Cleave uh, goes without saying, just a ridiculous, ridiculous card. And in this deck, can work so well. Um, one less um, for each creature. And as you'll see later on, you just, with this deck, you get a lot of creatures out and you get a lot of creatures out fast. Um, so it can, it can be really, really cheap to, to flash in. Yeah, obviously it gives it plus one, plus one, and double strike and trample. Okay, Sword of Sinew and Steel. Uh, it's just it's just one of the cheaper um, swords of options at my disposal. Maybe one day I'll upgrade to the best swords. Um, but obviously it gives you pro, black, and red. And uh, it's just good to destroy those planeswalkers and up to one artifact. And lastly... Uh, just a card again i really really like uh, creatures you control get plus one plus one and have flying and indestructible obviously the negative at the beginning of your upkeep you sacrifice a creature and if you can't you sacrifice it but again as you see we're going to be, be creating loads of tokens loads of spiders loads of loads of everything oh uh, yeah we're going to be creating loads of stuff so it is um it is really good to have and easy to keep on the battlefield Okay, now we're moving on to creatures. Um, before, obviously, you might be able to see Pylaf, Pylaf uh, right there. We're going to be getting on to the, the, the token creatures, all those creatures soon. But now, it's more just a handful of mis miscellaneous creatures that can sort of help. Uh, so, Solemn Seal and Malacrum, obviously, a staple. Gets you that land card and gets you to draw a card. Sakura Tribe Elder, another one. You can sack it to search for basic land. Perfect. Uh, Leafkin Avenger found works very well in this deck as you can tap it 
for each creature you control with power four or greater and uh, yeah in this misc pile that's uh, that's where a lot of these powerful creatures are so it can, it can deal damage but that's not really something that I've used to great effect ah yes okay Malira this is more of a for my personal play group why this is in this deck uh, one of my friends likes to run poison poison infect in pretty much all of his decks I just kind of put that in here just to, to you know protect from that infect next hit song uh, ambush viper always a good viable option I've found if you've just even got that two mana you know you can flash it in kill a creature if someone's coming at you just great protection option Oran Frostfang, another kind of staple I found in my green decks. Just give all your attacking creatures death touch. Again, becomes really useful when you've got an army of really wide creatures. And draw a card. Uh, Prowling Serpapod, another staple for me. It can't be counted, and then obviously all your creature spells can't be counted. So it gives you, it gives you a lot of comfort when this is a deck that doesn't really have. It's got a bit in the way of removal, but not too much in the way of board wipes or anything like that. And Gargi, this just went straight in there. Big, powerful beast, obviously. Look at all those options. Crate Beasts, gain free life, draw a card. And lastly, Terror of the Peaks. Again, just give it a flying option, and whenever a creature ends the battlefield, which a lot do in this, you can constantly be pinging and pinging and pinging and deal lots of damage to any target. Okay, now, now here is the third part. This is getting that really wide army. Uh, here we've got Pylath, and uh, yeah, you can just create loads of those green plants and beef them up whenever you get another land. Uh, Join Adaphage, again, if it deals damage, you get to create a copy of it, so another 7-7, seven, seven. so the value just starts speaking for itself. Quartzwood Crusher, again, whenever you do damage, create an XX Green Dinosaur Beast Creature token, where X is the amount of damage that was dealt. Dragon Broodmother, perfect for a four-way game of Commander, because it says here, at the beginning of each upkeep, you can put a 1-1 Red and Green Dragon Creature token, and it has Devour, so obviously eventually you can sort of build them up, collect them together, and then sack them and create an even more powerful dragon. Omnath, not the Omnath, but Omnath. Again, Landfall, you can just get start getting out of hand. Put a Fire Fire Red and Green Elemental Creature onto the battlefield. And again, when it or another elemental dies, it deals three damage to target creature or player. Dragon Lair Spider, another one that really just starts adding up quick. During all your opponents goes, they're gonna be wanting to cast spells, and every time they do, it's almost like the equivalent to Rustic Study. You don't pay the one, you just get a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. Rampaging Balos, another green sort of commander staple. 4-4 four, four, Landfall, green beast trigger. And obviously it's got Trample, so it's quite strong. Uh, Verdant Force, a new sort of addition to this deck. Again, it's, it's quite expensive to play, but I found with this deck, you know, beginning of each upkeep, it just starts, it starts adding up. And um, yeah, you will see here, works well with Tender Shoot Dryad. You create those saplings, those one ones, and with Tender Shoot Dryad, soon enough you have Ascend. And again here, you create more saplings, and then the saplings get plus two, plus two, as long as you have the city's blessing. So pretty ridiculous. Okay, then we've got a nice little planeswalker. We've got Garuk, uh, who can create even more tokens, create three, three green beasts. And then obviously if you can get it to that ultimate minus six, you can just start getting a ridiculous amount of six, six worms, which can just win you the game. And then we've got Vivian. Um, again, it's just another option like Radder. You can look at the top card of your library anytime and you can cast creatures from there. Uh, again, just create another beast. And yeah, another option to make you go even wide there. Okay, and the last little, little group now, which I would like to call it's just removal, prevention, and the rest. So here, again, if you've got Radder nice and strong, if you want to use it as go for blood, it's perfect to just get rid of an enemy creature. And if you are, you know, looking for those cards, it's just as good to cycle. 
Reclamation Sage, um, the classic Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment, and then almost a pairing, uh, Silic Slime, again, ETBs, Destroy Target Artifact, Enchantment, or Land if you're feeling filthy. Okay, and then we've got some of some more removal, Split Second as well, which is just, uh, you know, an unstoppable mechanic, Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment. Okay, and another good one here, Transmogrify, Exile target creature. Obviously then that, you know, you have the negative, that creature's controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card and they put it onto the battlefield. So it could potentially give them something, something just as good, but it gives you that option to get rid of the creature. Okay, and then we've got all the, the pumping stuff. So this is again, perfect to go on radar. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus three, plus three and gains trample. Yeah, obviously deals combat damage, draw that many cards. Okay, and then like I said, we've got removal and protection. And again, I don't really have ball wipes in here. Instead, I just went for more ways to protect your creatures um, because I'd rather protect rather than kick her off the battlefield. Um, so yeah, sacrifice spore for I'll prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn. Uh, heroic intervention, permanent again, hexproof and indestructible. Vitalize, untap all creatures you control. I found this is really good if you're Again, going all out on an attack. If you've got one green mana left, people don't tend to think you've got anything that worthwhile. If they swing at you then, you know, in response, get this out and then <laughs> destroy some creatures. Again, fog, prevent all combat damage dealt this turn, protect the ladder again. And then we've got some card draw, sort of just to finish off. Um, power four, greater draw a card, and it gives creatures trample, perfect for radar. Beginning of your upkeep, you control a creature with power for a greater draw card. And then there's just sort of two finishes to try and try and get that game won. You've got Overwhelming Stampede, where creature control gain at Trample and plus X plus X. And Triumph of the Hordes. I've won a game or two getting getting Radar, getting this on Radar, and then just uh, going straight for the Trample and Infect. So yeah, that is, that is the Radar deck uh it just it's one of my favorite decks it works really well power level you're probably looking at a six or a seven there's lots of good synergy but obviously it's not up there with uh, the c edh plays but yeah uh, if you haven't already please do like this video and subscribe for more future mtg stuff check out the instagram again like i said we are running that giveaway which ends the first of december so do check that out but for now, I am all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.